Okay, I want to talk to you guys about um, this other experience I had. Uh, this was a long time ago. This was like three three years ago. This is some scary exorcist stuff, guys. This is scary exorcist stuff. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I wasn't asleep. I wasn't dreaming. Um, I was in my car. And <clears throat> this is way before I thought this was spiritual. I didn't know. I thought aliens were on me. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know. I knew something weird. I was so frightened. I didn't know what was going on. You guys, when you are under, like, spiritual attack, they don't tell you. Like, no one tells you anything unless you don't know, you don't know anything. You're just like, what is going on? You're so confused. Nothing makes sense. Anyway, so I was driving, and, like, I felt like a really, the only thing I could describe, say, is like a, is like a kink in my neck, but it wasn't any kink in my neck. It felt like something had me by my neck, okay? Like, my neck was in a knot. But it was, like, really bad. Like, something had me by my neck, like, grabbed me by the neck like this. And I was driving. And I and it was so bad that um, uh, I started to lose my vision. Like, it hurt that bad. And I was trying to pull over, but I was in the middle of traffic. And, like, I, my, my, um, my eyes were starting to water because I was, like, fr and I was freaking out because I thought, I thought an alien had me by my neck or something. I didn't know what, what this thing was. But a demonic enemy an entity had had me by my neck. You guys, it grabbed my neck, okay. And it was like the exorcist. It was like, it, I mean, I was, I died. Didn't do that. But like, you know what I mean? If I looked in the mirror, I knew it would look normal. I didn't have it. You know what I mean? It, but I felt it in my neck. Like, felt like it was really happening. It was like into my spirit, right? It was happening in my soul more. Like, but it was really felt physical. Okay, this is why when you go to hell, it's physical. Okay, you feel. It. Okay, so. <sighs> um, and I was in so much pain. I was freaking. I was like, and it was like right here in the back of my neck, and I was hitting my neck. I was hitting the back of it. I didn't know what was going. I was freaking out. I was crying. I was starting to lose my vision. I was starting to pass out because I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. I was about starting to pass out, and but I couldn't pass out. And that's what hell is like, guys. It's like you're in so much pain, and you're about to pass out, but you can't. You can't die. You can't. You, anyway, I didn't know that at the time. That was before. But anyway. Um, uh, and it was, so, it was, like, scary exorcist stuff, man. My neck felt like it was bent, but it wasn't. If I looked in the mirror, it wasn't. It but, it, but I knew it was really happening, okay? And I started, sla like, slapping the back of my neck. I pulled over. I was freaking out. I freaked out all night after this. Even after, it finally let me go. Like, this thing finally let go of my neck. And I'm no joke. Um, this thing slid off my neck. I, it felt like it was a big snake. Like, I didn't know. I don't know how else to describe this, what it felt like. I couldn't see anything, okay? It was the middle of the day. And this thing slid all down my arm, and I felt, like, fall on the ground, okay? Because I was slapping it. And I was screaming, and I was crying, and I was freaking out. I thought an alien had attacked me. I didn't know what it was. Now I know it was demonic entity, okay? Now I know that. But man, that was that. This is some scary stuff, man. That stuff is no joke. That stuff is real. It's no joke. It's not like the Exorcist where you're actually like, your neck is really bent. Okay, it's like in the spirit, but it's worse. You still feel the pain. Okay, man, I was so freaked out. I am so glad. I'm, I'm so glad all that stuff is over. I don't see any of that stuff anymore. None of that stuff even happens to me now anymore. Since I started praying and read the Bible and got saved, none of that. I don't see that stuff anymore. I know it's not in my imagination. Like, you know what I mean? Everyone's like, well, how do you know you are just crazy? You guys, I used to think I was schizophrenic. I was like, maybe I'm just schizophrenic. I'm just hearing things, seeing things. I didn't know. I thought I was, see, I thought I was, I had gone crazy. Then I started praying that I was crazy. Cause I was like, I'm, I was like, seeing where I was like, I hope that I'm crazy. This is scary. But that's not what it was. Either. I knew it wasn't crazy. I knew I was really seeing this stuff. For, because you can't just hallucinate for four years straight, can you? I thought I was schizophrenic. But, okay, so maybe, let's say I was crazy. So I, then I started reading the Bible of praying and got saved, and I hallucinated that, and now I'm fine? No, okay? I really was, there really is a Jesus. The Bible, There really is a God. He He saved me, and those things, I don't see those things anymore. Because Jesus is real, he's not, the nothing was a hallucination. Demons are real, and Jesus is real. That's why, okay? 
I don't see any of these things anymore, but that's just one of the many creepy things that, that's happened to me over the past four years, okay? One of the many, many creepy things. And you guys, I know you don't feel these things on you, but they're in there. They're in you. They're on you. Like, okay, I could, I used to be able to see them in people, okay? And they're just walking around like, I don't feel nothing. I'm fine. No, you guys, they're in you all the time. They're on you all the time. And you're just, you don't care. You don't notice them, okay? You don't notice that they're making you sick in your soul and they're making you depressed, okay? Please try to think about this. Think about this stuff. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Pray to Jesus. Please. It's, that, that, that's all you should be doing, really. That's the only thing that matters because when you, when you die, there's only two places you can go. And you don't want to go down there, okay? Please, please get yourselves, get your, try to wake up to this deception, okay, of what's really been going on in our whole society on, our, on Earth, okay? All right.